Quartz crystals, as well as other kinds of minerals, come in a wide variety of colors. Probably all the colors you can think of, and then some. And this particular stone is quartz crystal that's been co colored by hematite. Hematite is a red iron coating that's dusted across the crystal after it grew, and it gives you all of these beautiful shades and also patterns. So we talked about amethyst a little, but I've brought a couple of specimens to show you. Here's one from Brazil that came out of a much larger geode. And you can see that it's a beautiful purple with lots of little purple crystals and also some white calcite. Very often you find different colored minerals associated with amethyst. Here's one from Uruguay, and it has an unusual shape. This is actually part of a stalactite. The Uruguayan crystals are generally very, very dark, incredibly deep colors. This one's a little bit lighter, but I picked it because of its shape. A lot of crystals, particularly quartz, trap other minerals inside while they're growing. Here we have an example of what's called in the business a garden crystal. It seems to have a garden of little particles inside. Sometimes they look like tiny trees or plants or actually dirt trapped in the crystal. This one has chlorite, a greenish mineral, and in this case kind of a yellow color inside of the clear quartz. You can probably see that the quartz crystal is flashing because it's got facets reflecting the light and then inside of it there's layers and layers of different colors. That particular one is from Brazil. In other countries we have different kinds of crystals. This particular one is called malachite and it comes from the Republic of the Congo in the middle of Africa. This crystal here is actually a lot of little crystals that formed as a stalactite hanging from the ceiling. Actually I think it went this way. And at the top of it you can see that where it broke off there's a little hole in the middle where liquid would drip down the stalactite and cause it to grow bigger. These are rather unusual and rare and while some have come out in the past not too many are being mined right now. Quartz crystals also grow in a green variety. Now this one didn't grow in the ground like this. It's been carved out of a boulder, a big chunk of a venturine. A venturine is the green variety of quartz and it also has a little bit of mica in it and maybe we'll get lucky enough to see that on film. Mica gives it a beautiful sparkle because they are small reflective silver particles. Not all green stones are made out of quartz. Here we have a beautiful carving of a lizard that was made from Half Moon Bay Jade. This jade was actually mined underwater just off the coast of California and then carved into this spectacular little chameleon. I hope you can see what a beautiful job they did carving this little critter here. Jade is an extremely sturdy stone so it makes for a nice long-lived carving very durable. In other parts of the world they have blue crystals. This one in particular is called sodalite and it's one of the more accessible blue crystals. Blue is actually a really rare crystal color. Blue is actually a really rare color for both crystals and gemstones. This sodalite came from Brazil. It has calcite inside of it and a little bit of pyrite and it resembles lapis but it's actually a different type of stone. I like these different crystal balls with the colors because they look like planets and when you spin them around it's like looking at the earth rotating in space. This is beautiful golden calcite. Golden calcite comes from China and they cut these amazing crystal balls out of them. They're very luminous and they also show what's called a cat's eye effect where the light seems to spread through the crystal and shimmer as you turn it. Calcite comes out of huge boulders. It has a lot of depth to the interior and as far as the clear crystals go 
This is probably one of the easiest and least expensive to collect, including the quartz crystals.